now i will discuss about the angles the angles formed by the transversal these are corresponding angle exterior angle interior angles alternate interior angles and alternate exterior angles now first we will discuss about the corresponding angle the corresponding angle if i consider two lines any two lines we will take just l and m l and um, m are two lines and this is the transversal p meeting at the point a and p so what are the corresponding angle now one angle lie outside and another angle lie inside of the two lines late i will consider one angle outside this angle is one and another angle it is inside this is the outside of this line just it is outside of the line and this angle is inside of this line inside of the two lines i will consider this is five so 1 and 5 are the corresponding angle and they are lying in one side of the transversal. If this is the transversal, it is one side, it is another side. If the transversal, we consider here, one side is right and another side is left. Okay. So now if I will consider this 1 and 5, at the corresponding angle 1 and 5. So if I will consider another line this is also L and M. In this picture I can show the second if this is the first angle and this is the second angle for this angle also this is outside this is outside of this line. This is the outside angle of this line. And which will be the inside angle? This one. This is 1, 2 and this is 5, 6 angle. This 2 and 6 are also the corresponding angle. If I consider L and M and this is P is the transverse and here A is B at the distinct points where the transversal cuts the two lines. Then, if I consider this line, this angle, this is the inside angle. In between the, in between the two lines, this angle we will consider as a third angle. Then, which one will be the corresponding angle for this one? This is the corresponding angle. This is nothing but seventh. The seventh angle is the corresponding angle of this three. Similarly, if I will consider this interior angle as fourth, then this angle will be the corresponding angle of four. It is eight. So here in this picture, third and seventh are the corresponding angle. And fourth and eight are the pair of corresponding angles. The exterior angle is nothing but lie outside the two lines. If I consider these two lines, any two lines, it's not parallel. You can take the parallel lines also. But here I am taking any two lines and I am cutting a transversal across the line. So they are meeting at A and B point respectively. Then what will be the exterior angles? Exterior angles are 1, 2. Then this angle will be, this angle will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. I marked the arrow mark as 1, 2, 7 and 8 are the exterior angles because they lie outside of the line. 
If I will consider M is a line, the outside angle is 7 and 8. If I will consider L is a line, then 1 and 2 are the outside line. These angles are known as the exterior angles. Like outside the two lines. These are the exterior angles. What are the interior angles? If I will take any two lines, And the transversal is P. This is L and M two lines. The transversal lines P. Then which are is the interior angles? The third and fourth. Third and fourth. Fifth and sixth. This third, fourth, fifth and sixth angles are the interior angles. Because they lie in between the lines, this third, fourth, fifth and sixth are lie in between the lines, in between the two lines. So, these are the interior angles. Here, 1, 2, 7 and 8. The exterior angles are 1, 2, 7 and 8. And interior angles are third, fourth, fifth and Sixth. Understood? So, exterior angles, interior angles over. Then, we'll, next we will uh, discuss about the alternate interior angles. I will consider any two lines. L and M. L and M. And one transversal P. Cut across the two lines at the point A and B respectively. Then, Alternate interior angles are lie between alternate interior angles. So, if I will consider this angle, so this angle. Okay. So, no. This arrow mark will be this side. Here, this arrow mark will be this side. I will tell you the arrow mark how it has assumed. So, now this angle... And this angle are the two interior angles. Because here alternate interior angles I am discussing. So this is the third angle and this is the fifth angle. This third angle is third and fifth angle are the alternate interior angles. Because these are the interior angles but lie opposite side of the Transversal. Lie but opposite side of the transversal. Lies in between the two lines but opposite side of the transversal. Opposite side of the transversal. Similarly, if I consider 4, which angle will be the alternate interior? This 6. This 6 and 4 and 6 are the alternate interior angles of this diagram. Understood? So, these are the alternate interior angles. Lie in between the two lines. Lie in between the two lines but opposite side of the transversal. Third and fifth, four and sixth. Even or pair and even pair. So, if I consider two lines and one transversal Cut across the two lines and meet at point A and B. Then, this is the transversal P. Alternate exterior angles. So, exterior angles will be this, this angle, this angle, this angle and this angle. Is it enough? So, now it will be. Opposite side of the transversal, if I take one angle, the first angle, then alternate side, who is present? This is seventh. So, one and seventh, if uh, this is the second angle and this is the eighth angle. So, second and eighth angles are the alternate exterior angles. Lie outside the two lines. 
outside the two lines but opposite side of the transversal opposite side of the transversal 1 and 7 just opposite one is this side and another one is the opposite side if i consider second angle then second angle is in this side and eighth angle it is on the opposite side of the transversal so these are the alternate exterior angles these angles are exterior but alternate to each other so these are the angles formed by the transversal i have shown here with the non parallel lines but these angles we can form with the parallel lines also so if i'll consider the two lines parallel to each other if i take l and m are the two lines which are parallel to each other and one transversal p is cut across the two lines l and m and meet at point a and b respectively then i'll show you here how the the arrow mark does consider they have taken from here this is the first angle in the direction it is in anti clockwise if this is the first angle this is the second angle then uh, this angle is third angle and uh, this angle it is considered as fourth angle and where it has stopped one circle one circle one 360 degree over and this side here one fifth angle and uh, this is sixth angle this is seventh angle and this is eighth angle so the angles they have considered in this manner it is anti clockwise the first angle it has started from here the first angle started from here from this line and from for m also for m line also it started from here okay so ended with fourth angle and here this ended for eighth angle that started from fifth angle so these are the angles formed by this transversal and the two lines and uh, we have we know before okay, the corresponding angles which are the corresponding angle which are the exterior angles interior angles alternate interior angles and alternate exterior angles so we have discussed before with the parallel lines you can able to find out with the number these are the number convention in the parallel lines. The remaining concepts will be discussed in the next video. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification of my new uploads on other topic. If you are understanding all the concepts, like my video and share with your friends to get the benefits. And most importantly, don't forget to ask doubt in my description box where you will get my WhatsApp.